Happy feet, I've got those. Happy feet. In fact, I've got quite a few. Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. And today, it's all about the trotter. Now, I've been cutting meat for 30 years, and every time I cut these off, I keep saying to myself, I'm going to take some home, and I'm going to cook them. Now, I know beloved of the Asian community and the French, so I'm thinking I'm going to do a pig's trotter terrine. Now, as you can imagine, not a lot of meat on these, but it's all that beautiful gelatinous skin. There is a little bit of meat in there. We're going to put it in a pot, add some aromat, some veg, boil it down, add some lemon juice, loads of parsley, maybe get a bit of spice in there, and we're going to press it, and then we're going to fry it in the pan. Now, I know it sounds grim, but bear with me on this, my friends. This is one of those things where you can actually turn a pig's, well, foot into a silk purse, he says. Fingers crossed. Let's do it. Okay then, first things first, we're gonna shove all our beautiful little trotters into a big pot. I'm gonna to top that up with water, bring it up to the boil, all the impurities will come out of it. I'll skim it off, change the water, fill it up with cider, and then we're gonna get all our veg and aromats in. So, I'm gonna get this on the stove. Okay then, for the poaching liquor then, we're gonna use cider, top it up with water, then we're gonna make a classic core bouillon, or as I like to call it, a core brian. It's a bit more English. Now, it consists of some celery, so not too fussy here. Nice big chunks, very, very simple. Couldn't be easier. This is the classic mirepoix. Listen to me which is carrots, onion, and celery. Gonna add a good base to that poaching liquor. And what I like about this is you can use up all the odds and ends out your fridge, all the old carrots. I've got some half onions here. Just gonna take the skin off. You have it if you don't want to. Don't be too fussy. And then just in half and of course we're going to add some spices some aromats i'm thinking some peppercorns some juniper berries we'll add some fresh thyme i got some parsley which is going in the final dish but i will use the stalks off that then i'm going to get some garlic in there some salt and some pepper and also some leaf so i'm going to quarter these store it in this incredibly camp tray. Camper than a row of tents. Let's get that in there. So already you're giving those trotters a really good head start. Put those leaves in. Then a leek. Very simple, nice big chunks. I'll give that a wash, get any dirt out of. But already, you know, the flavors we're building up is awesome. One clove of garlic in half. That will go in. Then we're gonna add, I don't know, three or four cloves, not too many because it's super, super strong. What about 10 juniper berries? And then, I don't know, 10 or 12 peppercorns. Now if you've got a bay leaf, which I haven't, you can put that in too. So I've got my parsley, I'm gonna put in the stalks actually in 
the core we on the actual parsley will go into the finished dish and then a couple of sprigs of thyme and thyme hasn't been kind to these they're looking very sorry for themselves beautiful core cool, brian what you got there it's a core bouillon so they've been in the pan then this is that cleansing boil as you can see look how attractive that stuff is on top mm. so i'm just going to skim that off i don't even know what that is i imagine congealed blood and all matter of funk so i'm going to get that off then i am going to strain these clean the pot out trotters back in and then we will build the core bouillon so my pan is clean in with the trotters in with the rough rider the cider get some cider inside her go on you beauty top it up with water juniper berries cloves and peppercorns our parsley our thyme our garlic and then the rest of the corb we on the mirepoix in we go I mean how inviting does that look I'd actually get in there and have a bath okay then so we want to bring that up to the boil might have to take a bit out of there so we're going to bring it up to the boil we're going to turn it down and simmer it for about three or four hours until all that skin and what little meat there is starts falling off of the bone After three hours then, they look a bit like this. As you can see, it's almost fallen off the bone. Now, like I said, these have been three hours. You can take them longer, four or five hours, but I want them to retain a bit of integrity, but you can see how easy it falls off the bone. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna retrieve my trotters, and I'm gonna take about 500 mil of that stock and reduce it with a lid off on a high heat and obviously all of the gelatin natural gelatin in these trotters will make a fantastic pig glue and then when these are cool enough to handle we will take off the meat and the skin we will chop it up and we will get it into the press so like I said I'm going to take some of this beautiful poaching liquor I said about 500 mil I might just put a liter it's better to have too much than not enough and I will give that a little sieve in to get any bits out I'm thinking maybe put some of the carrots through the mold as well I'm not sure yet I think it would look good that little bit of color then again I might leave it oh naturel that's hot. Oh. So that's what we're going to stick our terrine together with then. So lid off, as you can see, I heat and we want to reduce that by about half. It'll become nice and sticky. It's already a little bit sticky now, but reducing it will make it stronger. Okay, so not the most attractive looking things. Look at the carrot. Tastes amazing. So what we want to do then is pull out the bones and get all that lovely skin and what little meat is in it. So I'll just get a bowl. You want to do this as soon as you can comfortably handle it because we want it warm while we put it in the press. But be careful, it is 
very hot. Okay, hands up if you're still not convinced. It's going to be perfect. So, we've got our meat off our trotters. Just going to give it a little more check over. If you've got a few stray hairs, just get rid of them. Make sure there's no bone left in it. Just nice size pieces. And this is what I mean when I said we don't want to take these too far. We want them to keep their integrity. We want to keep them into some decent sized chunks. So I'm just going through. Gelatinous, porky. I mean, this is proper nose to tail using everything bar the squeal. And obviously in Ireland, they love these. They call them crew beans. Or I, I mean, excuse my Irish air. Crew beans. I think that's how you say it. And it's basically just boiled pig's trotters, then rolled in breadcrumbs. So we're just refining that a little. So into our mix. A little bit of lemon juice. We want to get some pepper in there. Do not be scared to over season because if you're going to eat this cold, the seasoning will mellow out. Give it a good mix. Give it a taste. I mean, it's lovely. Mm. A little bit more salt. Get in some chopped parsley. A bit more. Starting to look a little bit better. Get those stalks out. You can see that stock is reduced by half. So I'm going to get some of that in. Just enough to coat it. And that should be enough to glue this bad boy together. Do you know what? I think I will just put some of this carrot through. Really, if you've got a bit more time, just get it nice dice. My terrine or mould gets our meat. Make sure we've got a good ratio of leg meat and the carrots. Be nice if we have some showing at the sides. Press it down. going to add another spot of the pig glue give it a shake so there are no air bubbles and it goes right down to the bottom stand it on a plate get the top on it a bit of Heath Robinson we get that on there doesn't matter if you get a little bit of spillage of the liquor, get that on, let me know it's slippy, get that on, proper push it down, in the fridge, okay then, so my favourite part, the unveiling, let's have a look at it. Now I've just run this under the tap for ease of extraction. Have a look. Have a look at that. A million miles away from what we started with. Absolutely superb. 
gently cut it into rounds. Not very square. Have a look at that. Some dodgy cut. It's a knife. It's got a proper bloody knife on the job. Well, I'm very impressed with that, even if I may say so myself. What would I have done different? Chop the parsley finer. But not bad. Not bad at all. So into a little bit of flour, a little bit of egg, and then breadcrumbs. And then fry. Till golden. Okay then, a quick fry off. Now be very, very careful when you're frying it off. You don't want it to fall apart. That is so, so nice. Mm. Mm. Well, there you have it proper nose to tail and a million miles away from what we started with just have a look at it absolutely stunning and if you've liked what you've seen here today on the srp do click subscribe if you haven't already when my face comes up down here also find me on my social media on facebook two pages scott re and the scott re project also on my twitter at the scott re project and if you want to share the love do check out my Patreon page. My link will be in the description. So until next time, this is going to take some beating. This is what you call butchery, charcuterie, nose to tail. Oh, let's just get it down my neck. All the best, my friends. Take care. Mm.